Earlier in the week, retired police officers on the Nigeria's contributory pension scheme state a protest at the National Assembly in Abuja demanding for harmonization and transmission of bills to remove them from the contributory pension scheme. The protesters, who came from various state chapters, voiced their grievances over the severe hardships they have endured due to the National Pension Commission's failure to disburse their entitlements. With a cotton coffin displayed at the entrance of the National Assembly, the retired police officers is demanding uh, the full payment of their entitlement. We have in the studio retired Assistant Commissioner of Police Patrick Anyeting to look at this uh, development. Glad to have you uh, join me in the studio. Uh, Thank you for this having me. This evening. Is it a question of the fact that the retired police officers have not been paid their entitlements? It's because it's not the issue of being paid, but how much has been paid? Being shortchanged. It is a situation of one working at the end of the service year. You have nothing to take home. Let's take, for instance, where you have a commissioner of police receiving a pension of 70,000 naira a month. Assist and deputy commissioner of police, just like that, like ASP, 27,000 naira a month. The whole commissioner of police. 70,000 Naira a month. And incidentally, police operate three different pension schemes. You have the PTAT, that is a pension uh, transitional um, <coughs> arrangement directorate. And you have IG to AIG having their own different pension scheme. I now have the contributory pension scheme which affects the commissioner of police to the constable. And at the end of the day, those within contributory, contributory pension scheme, they have nothing to take home. Now when you compare with what, with um, the military and the intelligent community, you find out that is a question of the garbage such that you cannot even explain. Why? Because they have been exempted from the contributory pension scheme. The leadership of these organizations saw the injustice and they made sure that the organization was taken away from the contributory pension scheme. So what, what, what you're asking for now is, is that you should be taken away from the uh, contributing pension scheme. Scheme, yes. That the National Assembly should amend Section 5, Section 5, bracket 1A of the Pension Reform Act of 2014, because it was that act that exempted the army, the military, and the, and the intelligent community from that um, cruel uh, law. So why did they do it for the army and then do it for the police? I, I, I wouldn't know, but uh, I want to believe that the leadership of the army and the uh, intelligent community, they, they needed something good for their organization and they pursued it. And as a matter of fact, it has been the leadership of the police standing on the way to stop the exemption. Why? Because they are not affected by it. They are not affected by it. They don't feel the pulse. Yes, I was even going to ask, because you said there are three yes. different categories. Yeah. Should that be the case? Yes, that is the reason, because they are not affected by it. So they don't see any reason helping the, the officers from the rank of commissioner to constable to come out of that uh, obnoxious scheme. It is a terrible scheme. So what, what reply did you get when you, because, you, I mean, you went to the National Assembly for harmonization and transmission of, of these bills. What reply are you getting? What sound bites are you receiving from the National Assembly? Okay, let me take you down the memory lane. And uh, this uh, battle, this fight started back in, um, I think, 2021, when the policemen went on protests. And the National Assembly came to address the, the protesters and assured them that we will get them out of the scheme. 
and they actually took step and the, <clears throat> the bill went through plenary session both in the Senate and the House of Reps. I mean the last assembly, the last Senate, the okay. last assembly, not the present one, yeah. but the ninth assembly. And um, from what I learned and others, that the bill was actually passed by the Senate, but the House of Reps did not pass. And because they couldn't harmonize it, so that, um, uh, that last assembly, the tenure expired and nothing was done. So this time around, the, um, the retirees went on protest because they wanted to know what has happened to the bill which was passed by the Senate. And surprisingly, the present Senate, when they were addressed them and told them, they didn't even know anything about the bill. And which is, because I know, in each of those committees... They didn't they know anything. Which are, the bill has already been passed at the Senate level. <laughs> yes. Yet they don't know anything <laughs> they about it. it. That, is, that is a surprise. That is a surprise. Because what I know is all, the, all those committees, they have the clerk. And those clerks have institutional memory that would have told them this is what happened. They have people with institutional memory who knew what happened. We went to the Senate. We attended a plenary presented paper. And we went to House of Reps for, so it's, it's, it's like we are being taken for granted, which is very, very wrong. Now, uh, I, I'm sure the carton coughing that you displayed is symbolic. You want to talk about that? Why, yes, why did you display? that it should be buried, that the contributory pension scheme should be buried. Oh. It's for the burial of so, uh, um, contributory pension scheme, it should be buried. And as a matter of, of fact, those who are against our exit are the beneficiaries of this injustice. Your, your exit from where? Exit from contributory pension scheme. Okay. There are forces behind it who make sure they frustrate it. You want to talk about the forces behind it? Well, um, I wouldn't. Um, well, I wouldn't want to mention name. Okay. I wouldn't That's want to mention name. But yeah. at the floor of the National Assembly, we know people usually come out to oppose it. Each time there is a session to deliberate on this, uh, uh, on this issue. Uh, now, and what will be the reason for opposing it? Because, because if, if Senator has passed it, uh, remaining the House of Reps, you could almost say it's done if, if it goes yeah. to the House of Reps. So, so what are they giving us their reasons for opposing it? That if police Especially that if the army has been moved out yeah. of the same scheme, yes. and so they are earning better. Yeah. Like Pencom, Pencom will tell you that the system will collapse if police exit. It means we should stay in bondage. If police exit it, the system will collapse. It means we must stay in, the bond in bondage. Why should it be someone who work at the time he's supposed to take the benefit of his labor? And but the army exited. The system didn't it didn't collapse. collapse. Mm. The intelligent community uh, exited. It didn't collapse. But when it was police done, they say it will collapse. So it means there is something wrong somewhere. So now you have gone to the assembly. You protested. What I know you're a, you're a lawyer. So so what next step? Did they promise they were going to uh, present it to the, to the House, Assembly, House of Reps and then maybe it pass it there so it can be harmonized? Uh, what next step? We were told that they will start afresh, that the last assembly has um, expired, that their tenure has expired, that they have to start afresh. From the Senate? Yes, that's what uh, we were told. They have to start afresh. Okay, but, but then they've given you assurance yes. that they will start. Yeah. They have given us assurance that they will do something about it. Any idea of the length of time it could take? No, they didn't. But we know the process is quite long. So, but then, but then, but then it means there's hope. There is hope. But let's hope that the hope will be made manifest. There's hope. Let's hope that the hope will be made manifest. One can only wish you uh, the best that the, the, that assembly will go ahead, the National Assembly will will go ahead and, 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 you know, pass this thing and maybe get you people in better life. Thank you so much. That would be, Discussing that would be with Patrick Yetting uh, on the police protests.
about harmonizing and transmission of bills to remove them from the contributory pension scheme. Thank you once again. Thank you very much.